Hello everyone, welcome to Any Side Gaming Time. Now, to, today for Any Side Gaming Time, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, including catching up on stuff that I wish I wanted to talk about, but I was ill for a while, and I've, I don't know, before then I was lazy. Here's the intro. So the first thing is a bit random, but if you've heard of the Dumping Ground, that's from CBBC, which is also like a BBC thing, but it's a CBBC show. The Dumping Ground is about kids in care. Now there's a now there's a game where you can play the Dumping Ground on the Mission um, game app on the road. I will put some links down below, and here's I don't know here's. Something that might entice you if you're interested in this type of things. Kids, teenagers. Okay, so Life is Strange Before the Storm was a fantastic game. Now even though I haven't gotten through episode 3 so much, in fact I refuse to play it because it scares me a little bit. Episode 2, episode 1 and 2 are fantastic and episode 3 I've seen it and it's good. But then Farewell is supposed to come out within, originally they said it for March 6th they did, within everything else with the big limited edition stuff. But now they've set it for different days. On the screen now should be um, the different countries and the different days. It's either it comes out some countries March 5th, like for instance the UK, and on March 6th, that's how it is. Now, I do feel bad for you if you have to wait one more day, but for us, I guess we get it sooner than later. Now, I will be making a video on a bit of a reaction, but also an analysis of what we know about this episode so far, and how weird it is that we haven't gotten a trailer for it just yet. The game, the, fi the episode releases on Monday, it does. So... Is something happening that we don't know about? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. We do know that Max Kobe will be there. You'll be able to play as Max. Uh, which little voice actors. And so much more. I cannot wait. So it looks like Spyro a Remastered Trilogy is happening. It is. Now going by the Twitter handle name of Falcon. Um, this Twitter account... Um, is a Twitter account that has been working in the lines of Spyro and also I guess within this act of history. All information surrounding all of this dates back to 2015 it does, which it also confirms that Crash Bandicoot the Entertainment Trilogy will be coming to the PC and Switch, which is heavily suggested and also heavily proofed. But nothing, no word about the Xbox One just yet. Because as you know, the play, it came to the PlayStation 4 first, and then it was going to come to the Xbox One the, the next year later. So hopefully all of this ends up being true. And it's fantastic to see that Spyro is also guessing what it deserves. Speaking of Spyro, I don't usually talk about standalone fan games. When it comes to this, this is basically... You can call it level one. A Spyro fan game made in the Unreal Engine. Uh, a different version of this got made in Christmas. It did, and in fact, I have played it. So a link will be down below. Um, a new one got created, which has uh, Spyro One World, um, and also the model that they use is from Spyro: A Hero's Tale, which is good. The dragons look like something where. It feels like something that comes out of Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy stuff. It, it feels like it, but the voice acting and all that's good. Now, will I play it? Well, I can. It's just the new laptop I got um, can't take it, but the old laptop hopefully will. There's so much stuff on it that it just can't, you know, it can't take it. But I really do want to play it. I've never played so Spyro 1. I know it's just a simple thing, but link will be down below if you want to go and download it. It's absolutely amazing, and if you want to go download the Christmas one, do that. It's gorgeous. So Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, the update came whilst I was actually ill, believe it or not. In fact, no, I came back on came back after college one day, and suddenly the update was just 
there waiting for me to update. So the new things, as you know, the jet pack cargo thing, which, well, that doesn't even, nah. Um, also new skins, new arcade maps, and so, so much more. Now, of course I'm here to talk about that, but then I'm also here to talk about the, the next patch for March of 2018. It's been heavily suggested that the, the patch will be coming this March and it will be um, having new content and it will be a bit bigger than the last one which is quite amazing which I also want to go off to the next topic and talk about this. I kind of thought I, I didn't want to talk about this but I'm just going to do it anyway. This, a new Star Wars video game. Now, this new Star Wars video game has been developed by people that I can't remember the names of. This is supposed to be some more of a storyline, but I look, I I will buy it. But the thing is, the last Star Wars game, story-based game, got cancelled. And why hasn't this one got cancelled? Because I thought EA doesn't like games that are like single-player stuff, or unless if it's like a Battlefront. Two type of thing, but look, I'll buy it. It's just, guys, don't feel left down if this gets cancelled because we do know EA is best creating Battlefront games, but when it comes to stories based games, hmm. So, there, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have missed doing this because I, I do quite like it. Anyway, hopefully that other video has come out called the green screen competition stuff. So if you want to check more stuff about that, hopefully it should be at the end of the cards. Anyway, peace guys. See ya. Have a fantastic day.